Hey YouTubers, welcome back. We've got a new series I'm going to be starting here called Camouflage of the World, where I'm going to be going over various camouflage patterns from different countries and different time periods. Today we're going to start the series out with one of my favorites and one of my newest acquisitions, the Swedish M90 camouflage pattern. So this was developed and kind of implemented in the late 1980s by the Swedish military, and the idea from it was uh, inspired by vehicular camouflage that was kind of like big blocky shapes um, that kind of served to break up patterns of vehicles. And this kind of pattern had been used since the Second World War, even the First World War, to break up the outline of vehicles and the kind of environment where they were in and um, depending on you know what color scheme was used and all that stuff. This stuff is the woodland pattern. This is their basic everyday one that they wear in Sweden and in peacekeeping missions in like Liberia and Afghanistan. And since about the late 80s, this has been the standard Swedish camouflage uniform. Now this is a genuine surplus article, and you can see kind of the area where the name tape is supposed to go. And then I'm not actually sure what these are for, but um, you can get into them from the sides. And uh, then you've got the little rank epaulet right there where they wear the rank, you get the two breast pockets and a velcro patch on the right sleeve and the remnants of where the Swedish flag and the army patch used to be but they took that off before they surplus these out. Now this is in almost new condition so this is kind of the color that it's going to be when it's brand new. And you can see this, these really big blocky shapes it looks like something that you make on Microsoft Paint in the 1990s. Um, however it appears to be really effective in woodland environments they also have a desert camo version of this um, that is essentially the same shape, just a different color scheme. And that was pretty effective too. On the Middle East and stuff, they use that in, in Africa, parts of Africa. But uh, yeah, so this stuff is the current issue. I don't know if I already mentioned that. and has been for quite some time. And it's a really sweet pattern. It's really hard to get in the United States. I managed to get a supplier for this stuff, so I'll be bringing it to the market from here until they run out. And right here you've got the tag that has the size and everything on it. And uh, this is made for some of its 155 to 165 centimeters tall. And the Swedish measurement system goes by weight. So this is 60 to 70 kilograms. So this is about a medium short. Um, the material is kind of this, I I'm sure it's probably cotton and polyester. It's pretty heavy though. It feels like the old US BDU material, except it's not ripstop as you can see. It's just kind of a heavy poplin style material. And uh, these things are really comfortable. I, you know, I wear these just kind of every day because they're a neat pattern that looks kind of like fashion camouflage, but it's not. And uh, you really don't see it that much here in the U.S. So it's a pretty cool pattern. And out of a ten, I'd give it about a six to seven rating for use in woodland and moderate temperate environments. Um, probably. I'll start up another series where I actually go out and field test this stuff, kind of like Madras Arsenal does, and uh, we'll see how it works. But this is the uniform of the Swedish military, and until they replace it, you're going to be seeing a lot of this if you look up pictures of Swedish soldiers and stuff. Really cool pattern, uh, one of my favorites, let's say top 10 favorites of all times, and I'm really glad to be able to have it now. If you got any questions, feel free to ask, I'll try to answer it, but just forget to kind of share this with you, this is a blouse. I've got the pants too. Pants are kind of neat, but it's the same pattern and everything. And this is more or less focused on the pattern itself instead of the uniform style. So we'll try and just keep it simple. But yeah, if you've got any questions, like I said, go ahead and ask. And uh, if you're new to the channel, if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic uh, for more cool videos on like gear and clothing and stuff. Um, and yeah, for all my viewers, past and present, and all my current subscribers, I really appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time.